This is everything I'm shipping out on Tuesday. Skipped a day here. Yesterday, the post office was closed for Martin Luther King Day. So the first shipping day of the week this week will be Tuesday, and I have six items going out. Lots of smalls, but this stuff does add up. First up, sold one of these vintage G.I. Joes. This guy was just by himself, no accessories or anything. Still ended up selling for $11.49, so not too bad. Next up, sold one of these lens cleaners for video game consoles. This is pre-owned, still sold for $12.99, sold really quick. This was part of the $200 haul I got recently. Next up, sold a Nakamichi pet. I've had this thing for a very long time, finally sold for $13.49. Next up, sold a Hot Wheels, one of these vintage collections. Um, this one ended up selling for $14.99. I paid $1.19 for it, and I'm pretty sure I have a bunch more of these I can list, so not too bad. Next up, sold some of these playing cards. These are sealed. Um, these are like vintage. I had a couple, another set of these that sold really quick, and then this set took forever to sell, but I paid $0.66 cents for it, sold for $9.99. And then last up for the day, I sold one of these um, G.I. Joe playset parts. This tiny little gun ended up selling for $9.99. This is everything I'm shipping out on Wednesday. I have five orders going out. First up, sold this PS2 game, Tech and Tag Tournament. This ended up selling for $9.99. This is pre-owned, but it is complete. Uh, next up, I sold these Keen shoes. I actually got these for free. They're brand new. Um, they ended up selling for $97. So a solid sale here, especially since I didn't pay anything for these. Um, but interesting situation here. So I remember this a while ago, but I didn't pay much attention to it because I typically don't sell that many shoes, especially expensive ones. But um, there was an article saying that eBay is not going to charge you final value fees for shoes uh, over $100 that you sell. And um, yeah, I guess that is true because I looked at my payments tab um, under manage payments and um, I only got charged 30 cents final value fee just for the processing fee, which once I read into it, I might even be getting that back. So basically I'm not getting charged eBay fees on this order, which is weird because this isn't not, uh, $100. I sold it for 97, but I originally had these priced at 107 right now and um, kind of negotiated an offer through the eBay messages and I sent the offer through the messages. And I don't know, maybe since it was originally priced over 100, I didn't get charged the fees, but I mean, that's solid because um, these are going to ship priority, but this is actually only going one state over. So shipping is going to be pretty cheap, like probably only around eight bucks, maybe 10 at the most. And then no, no final value fees on this thing. That's a huge chunk of profit right here, especially for an item I got for free. So really excited about this sale here. Next up, I got a CD sale. This was just part of the CD lot that I just picked up last week, the $50 haul. This one, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, but this CD sold for $19.99. So just one of those CDs got me $20 in sales when I paid 50 for like over 60 of them, so not too bad. Uh, turn, turns out to be about 80 cents a piece for these, so solid sale. Next up, sold one of these vintage G.I. Joes. Um, this guy had a little backpack, but the backpack little antenna was chipped off, but I still included it anyway. This guy sold for $11.49, and then last up for the day, got a DVD sale, pretty solid one, Salvador. This is brand new seal. This is part of the $200 haul. I did recently, this one sold for $17.99, can't complain. It is early Thursday morning. I have eight orders to pack up and ship out. And then after that, the plan is to go to a couple sales. So let's get through this real quick. First up, sold this lot of two PS2 games, Guitar Hero 2 and 3. These are both pre-owned. However, they're complete. The lot sold for $12.74. Next up, got this lot of four X-Wing mini pegs, little pack of things. This lot ended up selling for $11.99. I've had these listed for a long time, so finally sold. Next up, sold this... Um, Chronicles of Narnia book set one through seven soft cover. I got these in the $200 haul recently and they sold quickly as I expected for $19.99. They'll ship media mail, so nice little sale here. Next up, sold an NES game Renegade. This ended up selling for $9.99. Sold this Masters of the Universe He Man Panther figure with the saddle. Um, I almost didn't even list this figure because he's so beat up. He's supposed to be like have fur on him and he's like balding and spots like that. Um, the saddle was pretty dinged up as well, but I think most of the value here was actually the saddle, but I don't know. I put this lot together, kind of sold it as damaged. Um, still did okay though, sold for $21.24. I'll take it. Next up, sold a Wii U game, Just Dance 4. This is brand new sealed. Paid four bucks for this one, sold for $15.99. Next up, sold a little War Machine Pegs packet. This ended up selling for $9.99. And last up for the day, I sold this official Nintendo GameCube memory card. Um, this thing was tested, works fine, sold for $12.74. It is Friday morning and I have three things to ship out today. First up, sold this vintage G.I. Joe rapid fire motorcycle. This thing is from 1983. 
This little guy ended up selling for $22.49, so nice sale there. Thing is super light, so obviously it won't cost that much to ship. Shipping first class. Next up, sold a pair of women's Sorel boots. I've had these for a little while. Got these for $5 at a yard sale. I accepted an offer of $25 for the boots. I'm glad to get rid of them before the winter is over, so I'm not stuck with them until next year. Um, probably could have got more for these, but while I had them in my death pile, my cat chewed up all the shoelaces. I tried to let my cat near my stuff, but sometimes he sneaks in. Um, I guess I could have like ordered new shoelaces and all that, but I'm not trying to make a project out of these boots. Just wanted to list them as they were and got rid of them, so happy with that. And then last up for the day, sold a DVD, The Shallows. This is sealed, paid a dollar for it, sold for $9.99. It's Saturday morning and I have two things to ship out today. First up, sold this Fox Collection JCPenney polo shirt. This is new with tags. I think this thing is vintage, but I'm not really sure. I paid $2 for this at an estate sale. It sold for $17.99, so a nice little sale there. And then last up for the day and also for the week, got the Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. This I just picked up recently in that $200 haul. The discs on this thing are like perfect, look like they've never been used. This thing sold for $49.99, solid sale. I actually sold a pin too. This actually sold like a week or two ago, but I forgot to include it in my one of my videos, and I don't know why, because this was a great sale here. I'll put it up on the screen, this little rat thing. I paid $30 for it, ended up selling for $280. After fees and shipping, I was left with $243, minus cost of goods, so I have a $213 pure profit on this pin right here. Can't go wrong with that. Just got some shipping supplies in. These are not from the eBay shipping supply store coupon thing. Um, I have a guy that I buy shipping supplies from local, and this is what I picked up in this order. I got two 300-foot rolls of bubble wrap, so 600 total feet of bubble wrap. So this should last me, like, quite a long time. I was running out, or I was running low on my roll. I probably only had, like, that much of a roll left. So it was good timing to get these. Um, where I'm going to store these in here, I'm not really sure, but I'm just glad to have um a bunch of backup bubble wrap because it would suck to run out of that i've i've done that before where i had to like run to a retail store just because i was completely out of bubble wrap and you don't want to pay those prices um i also got two big rolls of this brown craft paper this is the packing paper that i use so for instance um i would probably bubble wrap something put it in a box and then so it doesn't shake around i use this paper to void fill the sides of the box and all that so the item doesn't shake in the box. So I really couldn't even imagine not having this kind of paper for packing. And um, these rolls last a long time. So these two rolls should last quite a while because I still have, I still have a little bit of one here. So yeah, love this stuff. And I also ordered a little stack of nine by seven by five boxes. These are a newer size box that I've been using and I'm, I'm really liking them. Um, I don't use them all the time, but when I do need to use them, it really comes in handy. So I definitely want these in my arsenal of box sizes. But yeah, that's everything I picked up from this order. I have a pin opening real quick today. I apologize for the lighting, but it is nighttime, but I couldn't wait till tomorrow to open this thing up. I just really want to see what I got. So this pin, um, there's an LE 100, a 75, a 50, two different 10 versions and a five. So there's 250 total pins. This thing sold out like that. This thing was gone. I'm really surprised I actually even landed one of these. Like it was just, just almost instantly gone. So this is a really cool looking pin. I'll obviously show you guys once I open it, but um, yeah, let's get right to it. No turning back now. This pin with how fast it's sold out and um, I just, it doesn't matter which one I get. I think it's gonna be worth some money. Obviously the lower LEs are better, but just how fast it's sold out. This one's gonna be good regardless. Plus it looks really cool. What? Let's see. I don't remember which colors for which. Ooh, the 75. Okay. I got the 75. So not the most common one, but the next one up. Look at this thing, man. Look how cool it looks. It's kind of like shiny. It looks better in person than it does on the camera, but that thing is awesome looking. So really good pull here. Anything above the the most common one. You just can't complain if you pull something like that with these pins, but even with this one, I would have been happy with the 100 as well, but to get a 75, can't complain at all. Solid pull. And the numbers for the week. This week, I sold 24 items for a total gross sales of $469.53. So just last week, I was finally building up steam and had a pretty good week, and then now I'm back to a slow week again. Um, it is better than nothing. I did have some good sales in here, but just not enough um, to be where I'm at. But um, it is what it is. I've been listing too, and I also went sourcing this week, and I picked up a bunch of inventory. So um, once I get that stuff listed, hopefully that helps out. 
Um, yeah, I'll have a separate video for that coming out in a couple days, so stay tuned for that. I got picked up a lot of stuff. But yeah, the link to my eBay store is in the video description. Until next time. I'm sweeping and packing these dividends. I keep stacking to the roof. I'm out of room. I'm gonna have to get a bigger broom.